Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace audio using drag and drop in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I'm thinking about replacing some of the sounds. Let's hear it now. So on this first track here, I have a kick sample, and on the second track, I have a clap sample. So I'm thinking about replacing both of them. And there's a few different ways of doing this. The first way is using the Media Explorer. If we go up here to the View menu and choose the Media Explorer, it opens up docked down here where we could swap out our sounds. I could audition the sounds just by clicking them we're hitting the space bar and picking the sound I want to use. Let's say I want to use this one right here. I could select the media item I want to replace right here on the kick track, right click the replacement sample, and go down here to use as media source for selected items. And if I choose that, it replaces the sound right here. But it only replaces the first one, the one that was selected. So I want to replace all of them. So let's undo it. And instead, double click this track. It selects all the items on this track. Go down here and do it again. Right click. Use as media source for selected items. And it quickly replaces all of them. Let's do the same thing for the clap. Double click this track. It selects all the clap samples. Go to my library on the claps. Choose a different sound. Let's try this one. Again, I'll right click and I can choose Use as Media Source for selected items. And it replaces all of them that quickly. But there's another feature in here I kind of like to use. Let's undo it. And instead, let's right click this one and choose Insert as Take in Selected Items. And what that's going to do, it creates a new take on that track for that new sample. But we still have the old one right here. And because they're all selected, we can hit the T key and switch back and forth. The new one. or the old one. And when we choose the sample we prefer, just hit on the PC Alt-Shift-T or on the Mac Option-Shift-T. And that'll crop to the best sample and remove the other one. Now, one of the nice things about replacing audio in this way is it'll retain all the parameters for that item when you replace it. Let me give you an example. Let's say I had a track with a sound effect right here, and it sounds like this. Now, if you notice something about this, I have some take envelopes on the item. Right over here, I have a volume envelope that starts at full volume and fades all the way down and then back up. I have a panning envelope right here that starts from the left, goes to the right, and back and forth. And then finally down here, I have a pitch envelope that brings the pitch down over time and then back up over here. So again, it sounds like this. But all those envelopes or anything we have in the item We'll retain those parameters even if we replace the source media or the audio. So let's do the same thing for the sound effect. Select them all, open up the Media Explorer, go to my sound effects library, choose a different sound effect. Let's try this one right here. 
So again, we can right click it, use this media source for selected items, and it replaces it, but it keeps everything else intact. So if you have fades or take envelopes, they're all going to stay there. Or even effects on the track, they'll also stay in the item. But this is only one way of replacing audio. Let me show you another way. We can also select all the audio on the track, then right click it, and go down here to the item properties. We could also use the keystroke F2, and that'll open it up as well. And these are the media item properties for all the items on that track, because we selected them all. But we can go down here to choose new file, and it'll ask us if we want to change the media source file for all 120 selected takes or items. We'll hit yes. We can go into our directory, which is the Explorer on the PC or the Finder on the Mac, and choose different samples. We'll try this one right here. Double click it. And it changes the file that the media items look for on that track. Let's do the same thing for the claps. Select them all, right click, item properties, choose new file, go to the claps and change it to this one. And they're all changed just like that. But there's one other way, and it's probably my favorite way of replacing audio, and that's drag and drop. Let's undo this. And let's go to our directory on our hard drive, which for PC is the Explorer, and for Mac is the Finder. And here's the kick samples I want to choose from. This is the one we chose before. We can just drag and drop it into Reaper and watch what happens. We'll put it right in the kick like this, and see how it's sitting right on top of it? We don't want to put it over here, as it's just going to add it to the track. We don't want that. We want to replace it. So we want to put it right on top of the audio on that track, or the media item. Drop it, and this dialog opens up, giving us some options. First, we can see the source media and the target media. The target being what we're going to replace. The source what we're replacing it with. So the first option is to insert the new media item that overlaps the target media item. So it's just going to place it on top of it, like that. We don't really want that, so let's try a different option. We could choose to add the source media as a new take in the target media item, which is similar to what we did before, we have created a new take on top of the old take. But that only changed the first item. So we don't want that for this. We can replace the target media with the source media, but that's only going to affect that one instance, where we dragged and dropped it to. Let's choose that. And we can see right here, we replaced that one instance. Let's undo that and try another. We could also replace all 120 occurrences of the target media with the source media. That's going to replace all of it or all the items on that track. Let's try that. And just like that, it replaced them all just by dragging and dropping it right into one of the media items on that track. But there's still a few more options. So undo that. Let's do it again. But this time, we could choose the option down here to adjust the target media item length to fit the source media. So it's going to change the length of the media items based on the different length of the item we're dragging in, like this. 
we get a bit closer. This is a bit smaller than what we had. Undo it. It's a little bit longer. So change the length of the media item to the new item we're dragging in. Let's do it again. Just drop it. Choose the option here. And it changes the item length to the length of the new item we're dragging in. But we could also choose the option down here to stretch the source media to fit the target media item. What that's going to do is it's going to stretch the item we drag in to match what's already there. Notice the length is exactly the same. Undo it, redo it. It's exactly the same. But it time stretched it. We can see the rate right here is different. It time stretched it to match what was already there. So we have that option as well. If we want to fit the item into the exact same space. And then finally, we could choose the option down here, which is going to loop the source media to fit the target media item. So it's going to loop it as it comes in based on the size of the original item. In this case, we probably don't want to loop it, but if you do want that, make sure you choose that option. It's more useful for legato sounds where you want them to fill up a space, but you don't want to time stretch it. You just want to loop it to fill that space. So anyway, all these options are great ways to replace our audio in our projects without affecting the original items or just replacing them completely. It makes it a lot easier to swap out our sounds in our productions. So that's pretty much it. That's replacing audio using drag and drop in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.